Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here today with a little tutorial. It's uh, just a quick little tutorial that we're going to make a library pocket and a library card to go in the pocket. And we are going to use the paper from my paper pad. So this is one of the projects for my paper pa pad project. And um, again, it's uh, the paper pad that I am attempting to totally use up is uh, Hackney and Company and it's English Garden. Uh, I know a few of you have tried to find this online and can't find it. I looked and couldn't find it either. I'm thinking it must be sold out or something, but um, you can sure search various sources and see if you can find it. The only thing I could find was a little six by six paper pad of it. So I apologize about that, but it is one that I wanted to, to use up in this project. So let's get started. And, um, and I'm going to do step by step. This is going to be a tutorial and we are going to use this piece of paper. It's, it's got birds and, um, little nests and then feathers on this side so there is a direction to this paper and I wanted that because I wanted to be able to share with you how to how to do this um, so my goal here is to use the entire pad of paper which I did with my my little um, examples over here so when I finish with this we'll have six that we can play with and decorate at the end of the video so this is right side up i am going to turn it one to the left so that um it's sideways and i'm going to go ahead and cut this at nine inches so we've got nine inches here which since it's a 12 by 12 will leave us three on this side right okay so there is our three inches. We're going to set that aside. We don't need that right now. That will become our cards. And then we are going to take our, um, we're going to turn it so that it's right side up again. And we are going to cut it in four inch increments, which of course, since it's 12 by 12, we will end up with three of those. So let's do that. Okay, so for now, that's all we should need our cutter for. So we'll set that aside. Okay, now we've got three nine by four inch pieces of paper. So I'm gonna set that aside. We're gonna work with one. I'm gonna grab out my scoreboard here and I've buried my, buried my scorer. Okay, so um, what we're gonna do is First off, we are going to turn it to the side. So um, let me think here. Okay, I'm looking at my examples because I, I want to I want to do this correctly. Let's see. Yes. So. Um, what I'm going to do is, uh, this is the right side up. I'm going to turn it to the left again. So just like we did when we cut it, I'm turning it to the left. This side is going to become our pocket. And I want to make sure that the uh, pattern is right side up when we fold it up. So we've got it right side up. We're turning it to the left here. And we're going to score at three inches right down there. There's three inches. Then um, what we're going to do is we're going to turn it and um, at the here's the three inch score line. We're going to score at half an inch down to the score line and I'm just feeling the score line with my fingers. And then on this side we're going to again go a half an inch down to the score line. Okay, so now I don't know that you'll be able to see it, but we have a score line here, a score line here, and then our three inch score line. So now we're going to turn it to the long side and 
um, what we're going to do is rather than a half an inch, we're going to go between the half inch and uh, the next eighth of an inch. No, we're not. No, we're not because there's no, we're going to go to the eighth of an inch. Sorry. I had to just look and see if what I was telling you was actually in frame. Okay, so half an inch plus an eighth. It's going to require us a little trimming, but that's okay. Okay, so we've got the long side now at a half and an eighth. Did I say a quarter? Sorry, bumbly video. Okay, so a half and an eighth. And then over here, we're going to do the same. So we're going to go a half and an eighth, and we're going to score just down to the score line. Okay, I think this will come clear as we, um, as we fold it up. Okay, so um, we are going to go ahead on the long side and cut down our score line. I hope this is in frame. I'm having to hold it so that I can see the score line. <laughs> And then we're going to cut across at the at the three inch mark like so and then we have a little strip that we can use for something else of course we're going to save that um and then again i have to get it at an angle to the light so i can see it and we're going to just cut down this side on the score line again and then this way okay another piece of paper alrighty then now um, now we've got we've got our little our little uh, score lines on the side sorry again geez I can't not finding my words today I'm just going to do a slight angle right there just because it's it just folds a little bit easier you don't have to it'll fold fine without it but i just i just do so okay so now we're gonna fold up we're gonna fold up at our three inch line give that a bit of a press and then we're gonna take these around at the score line and wrap them to the back like so Now that's going to get a, give us a little bit of room on either side of the back. I think hopefully you can see that. There's just a little bit of room. But if you if you score the whole thing all the way down at a half inch, then when you go to fold it, it buckles the back. So you just want to give it that little bit of ease. Okay, let's do the other two, and then um, hopefully we'll just we'll just have it down. So okay, we're starting straight up. We're turning so that um, so that the top of our paper is against this right here. We're gonna score at three. We're gonna turn. We're gonna score at a half to the score line that we just did, and a half to the score line that we just did and then um then we're going to turn our paper and we're going to go a half and an eighth down to the score line a half and an eighth down to the score line and we're going to just clip and cut the long side now I will a little disclaimer here I imagine there's a lot of different ways to do a library pocket um, but as always when you're watching one of my videos you get the gale way <laughs> good right or good wrong or indifferent you get the gale way so um, and here now this one just for the sake of um, demonstration we won't we won't clip that and and it'll be just fine whoops we're going the wrong way we could go that way maybe the next one we will just for fun so then that and that 
So we probably want to give that a little press with our bone folder. And it's just fine. It's just fine. I'm not going to bother to clip. Yep. So there's that one. Okay, let's do this one the other way. So let's see. So we would want it to go up this way because we want our birdies to be right side up, right? So um, let's see. So let me think for a second. Now I'm backwards because of it. Um, okay, so we want to score on... We want to score on this side. Uh, so you want your, your, shall I say, your pocket side. You want your pocket side up as you're scoring. That's, that is a little piece that I left out. So, um, and it's just so your score lines will fold properly. So I've, I've said it before in my videos, but um, I'll repeat it. When one of my subbies taught me this. So when you're scoring, we're, we're going to, with at the three inch line, we're going to score, we're going to create a valley there, right? We created a valley. And so then when we fold it, it will go to the outside and will create a mountain. So valleys to mountains, mountains to valleys is, is the kind of the catchphrase. Okay. So we've got, we've got three there. We're going to turn, we're going to go a half and an eighth right to the score line, a half and an eighth right to the score line. And we're going to flip. Oh, whoops. Nope. Nope. <laughs> oh, Bumbler. Bumbler strikes again. Okay. That was supposed to be the half. That's the half. <laughs> were you yelling at me? No, Gail, you're doing it wrong. That's what I get for talking so much. Okay. We'll be okay. We'll just make sure we we do the half inch there. <laughs> oh, okay. Now we're going to do a half in the eighth at the long side, but yeah, it'll, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. We haven't ruined our pocket or anything. Oops. No, half in an eighth. Oh my goodness. Gail, that's going to be cut off. So that really doesn't matter. Okay, here we go. We're going to go ahead and cut off uh, the long side at our half and an eighth. <laughs> oh, I, I, I find myself incapable of doing a serious tutorial. <laughs> that's, that's the bottom line here. Oh, goodness. Well, that's all right. We're fine. It's a piece of paper, right? If you ruin it, oh well. I'm supposed to be using a whole paper plant pad. I don't that doesn't necessarily mean I'm making something useful. <laughs> okay, so valley here where we scored is turning into a mountain as we fold. And then on this side, the same thing. So we're just going to do that and and we're okay no harm no foul on the incorrect score there yeah it's just fine it's just got a little ridge on the edge <laughs> no big deal okay so we've got our three pockets now what we're gonna do we are done with the scoreboard and so I'm going to put it aside, get it out of our way. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our extra strip. Remember we had this extra strip. And again, because I want to use up the whole sheet, I'm going to go four inches on, on the cards. Now, if you wanted, you could make them a bit longer for these and you'll see that in a minute but again that's my my goal here is to use up the four okay so here is here is the thing we can glue these which which we will but let's take one of them and sew around it just for fun now you know me i would like like things to be inked so 
if you're going to sew it, I would ink it first. Be just because this pocket area here is going to be tough to ink properly if you've already sewn around it. So I'm just going to give it a little ink. And just like that, we're at the decorating. How long did it take us to make? It took us 15 minutes to make three pockets. And um, I had already made some ahead. I've done, so this is two pieces of paper that I'm doing this with. Okay, so that's inked, yay. All right, let's pull over our sewing machine and just sew around it and see how we like that. Now, I am only gonna use a straight stitch just because I don't wanna take up a, zig, a zigzag room. So, or you could zigzag around here and just do straight stitch here, whatever, whatever hits your creative, your creativeness, you can just do. Okay, so I haven't glued this or anything because I am going to stitch around it. I don't think I really need to. You know what I think I'd like to do? I think I would like to just do a zigzag on this side. And then as we go around the top, we'll just I don't know. I think I could do both. Uh, let's experiment. We've got lots of them to play with. So let's experiment. And we only are 15 minutes in. And so, okay, let's, I think I'll start here. Since I'm zigzagging all around, I think I'll start here. And I, I'm not going to worry about um, doing a back stitch here. We are just going to, I think I'm going to make my stitch a little bit smaller is all. Ah, stuck. So it's going to have messy stitching. <laughs> oh, it keeps sticking. Okay. So there we've learned something. It's because my flaps aren't sewn down. Okay. So we learned that. That's good. That's good. It is. It's a it's a learning process always. I always learn something with every project. So especially those of you who are new to this to paper crafting and or junk journals, don't be hard on yourself when you experiment with something, you know, it's generally not going to go perfectly the first time, you know. So I am a perfect example of things not going perfectly the first time. As as those of you who have been with me for a long time know, I, you know, it's just, it is what it is. And I just have fun doing what I'm doing, so. And um, I'm going to try and see if I can move that slightly over. Yeah. That'll work. Okay, well, yeah, it's just fine. It's fine. So I'm going to show you, I just had another thought of another thing we can do. Um, let's do... Let's do one more. Let's do one of the ones that I did before. This is the paper that I used before. I'm just going to real quick ink this edge and we can ink the rest afterwards. But I wanna try it with a straight stitch. So that's how it turns out with the zigzag. Um, let's do a straight stitch. Um, Oh, it's not wanting to go to five. Okay, whatever sewing machine. Um, so yeah, let's just do let's just do a a straight stitch here and see how see how that works. Oh, that is not a straight stitch. <laughs> That's why it wouldn't go to five. Okay. Oh my gosh. 
You guys, I tend to do a bumbling crafting video even when I don't mean to. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, well, it's got a little, got a little funkiness happening at the bottom there. Oh, Lordy. Okay. Oh yeah, it's kind of good kind of cool actually <laughs> I don't think I could ever recreate it but it's kind of cool doesn't like it much when it gets to the thick part yep yep it was hitting the hitting the uh, flap again Okay, so that's kind of some messy straight stitching. You know, they're okay, but they they aren't great. So it's it's just another way to do it, you know. So let's glue our other ones just just because. Okay, I am going to take this and get it distressed all the way around since it's kind of ready to go. So we basically have two ready to um to decorate don't we okay another thing I wanted to show you that you might possibly want to do just as something a little different is before gluing them like let's use let's use this one you might want to take um, a little circle punch and make a little divot there just um, just to indicate there's a pocket, you know, so there's that. Um, and then I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you something else that I discovered when I was working on my um, prototypes, if you will. <laughs> so, oh, too funny. Let's do a serious tutorial with Gail. Nope, no such thing. <laughs> Okay, um, I was going to show you, look on this one, you can kind of see that. So I am going to just, I'm just going to put that at an angle down here rather than at the top. It doesn't need it. So let's do just a little angle there. So then that one is ready to glue because that's what I wanted to show you on that one. Um, so I am just gonna just gonna take my art glitter glue and get that pressed down there. Okay, so let's see what else. Oh, I know what else I wanted to show you. So let's see. Um Okay, let me show you this. So, um, this is what we did. You know, we did the cut. We did the cut. We flipped it up. We bent it around, right? So, on another one, I was just trying this out to see how I liked it. I decided it wasn't necessary. But what I did was I scored a half an inch at the very bottom of the piece of paper, too, so that there would be a folded edge on the pocket like so it it does make it a little stronger so depending on the weight of your paper you might want to do that and in that case um i just did i did the the three inch score and then i did a half inch score and then half inch half inch half plus an eighth okay i hope that makes sense so on this one um we're gonna to want to glue this little flap down. So yeah, if you're using a lighter weight paper, I think that that might come in handy just to just to reinforce that top edge where things are gonna come in and out right of there. So that's that's a thought there. Okay. And um, let's go ahead and just get this one glued. Okay. 
perfect. And see, this one doesn't show at the bottom, so we don't really need to clip it off. Okay, and then let's put the topper on the glue. And as soon as we distress this, I'll show you something with another one here. And um, Because, might as well make little differences in each one, right? Okay, so there's our four so far. Now, um, let's just let's just take this one as an example. Okay, so it was made just as we made ours. There we go. And here is one of the three pieces of that last bit of paper that um, they're three inches wide, right? So what I figured out was, oh, let's let's do it with this one because I already turned those down. Let's do it with this one. Okay, so there's our three our three journaling cards, if you will, and they do not quite they don't quite fit. They're just and and it might be that the the twelve by twelve paper was twelve and a quarter or something. You know, I don't know, but what I did was I went in and um, trimmed these two eighths of an inch. So just right here, just two eighths, no big deal. And, uh, and then they fit, perfect. they fit just fine then. So adjustment, another slight adjustment. Okay, but what I wanted to show you along with that is, okay, so now it slips in just great, but they are shorter. So there's a couple things that you may want to do. So you may want to look at it and, and you may want to put a taller tag back there too. So you could put, for instance, how about, we're going to need to trim it a little bit, but what about like uh, an index card? You could put that behind there. Let's just trim this index card to be to be the proper width. And you can see it's a little bit longer. That's why I said um, as we were cutting these journaling cards, you may want to do it a little differently. If your if your goal isn't to use up the whole piece of paper, you could you could cut them um, five inches and have them more or less fit your your pocket a little bit better so okay so in this case maybe we have this here and then this in back of it and and that's kind of cute right so that's an option um the other option which i think we'll um we'll do with this one this um one is same thing see it just it slides down in there pretty well. Um, uh, my thought was to just cut it down a little bit. Just cut it right about there. And um, have a little bit of a shorter library pocket. So we'll just trim this one down. And we've got a little piece to play with there which I kind of have an idea once we get to decorating. Okay, so now this guy is a little shorter. We can put in our journaling card and our journaling card isn't so, isn't so obviously that much bigger, okay? So that's one option. Then the other thing I thought I might like to do is to trim the tops of this into a tag shape. And, you know, if you're decorating the top of your journaling card at all, um, like if you're putting a putting a piece of lace or a tab of some sort, it's going to take up some of that room too. But I thought it might be fun to have kind of a, a little bit of a tag shape. So let's, let's just, let's just see how we like that. So if we put that in there. Again, there's some room there, but you can decorate that too, right? So anyway, that is only um, 
only sort of a, what, what do I want to say, a side effect of me wanting to use the whole piece of paper because of this weird little challenge I've done for myself. Oh, goodness. Okay, so let's get, let's get these other ones glued. Let's see, I want to do this first. Get this glued in. Um, and then we can get to decorating and just play with that for the rest of the video. How does that sound? Okay, we're just going to glue all of these one after the other. Okay. That one. And this one. Is that it? Yep, everything else is journaling cards, I guess. Okay, yep, six of them. We are set. Cool. Okay, so now we get to play with the journaling cards and with the with the pockets themselves. So, so that was fun. <laughs> Sorry, I got messed up there a little bit. Oh my gosh, but we recovered. We recovered. Have an idea for this one this one has the little ridge there which you don't really even see but I it kind of gave me an idea um, you know the other thing I think I'd like to do maybe I'll do it on this one is I think I'd like to corner punch just round that corner a little bit yeah I like that I like that I actually like that better. I think on these remaining ones, I'm going to do that too. Of course, the ones I've sewn, I can't do that too, but, um, but yeah, I like that. All right. So we're all inked. Let's, um, we can, we can ink our cards as we go or whatever. The other thing you could put in here, let me grab one that would be fun, is, let me just grab, um, goodness, harder to find than you would think. Okay, I just have um, one of these little tags. That's cute in there, isn't it? So that could go in with a journaling card and that's fun okay well maybe we'll do that with that one we've got this one's gonna have a um, have a index card I'm thinking I'm not sure but I think I might have to where is the journaling card for this one okay one two three Oh, put two in there. Had to be here somewhere. <laughs> so I'm thinking I'm going to, yes, I am. I'm going to have to um, trim this down because of the stitching, like to write about there. So it's going to be, it's going to be a skinny little journaling card. But that's all right. There we go. So that guy can go in there. Another little scrap. Um, and then, so that's that. On my pinky ones, I have, I think I'll just put one of the journaling cards in there like that. I don't know, one way or the other. And then um, these two, okay, I can put, that guy in there, but this one is going to have to be trimmed down too because of the stitching. Look right about there. Don't need to trim this one quite as much, but all right. So I think we are just about ready to rock and roll here. Yeah, there. That goes. That goes fine in there. 
Alrighty then. Let's do this thing. Let's just play a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna grab one to do one to do first. Let's do let's do this one first. Yeah, and then we'll just decorate as much time as we have. What do we, we're at 34 right now, so that's good. Okay, so first thing I want to do is I'm thinking I'm gonna back this with um straw paper or something because um, I want it to be written on. Now do I want it that way or do I want it that way is what I have to decide. I think I'm going to have it this way. So we're going to put it on the feather side. Okay, I'm going to grab my big bucket of, um, gosh, I've got, I've kind of got lace all over the place here, guys. So uh, let's yeah. Okay. Get my bucket of scraps out here. We don't need this punch anymore. Get it out of our way. Put my extras there. I need to push my sewing machine over to give myself some room. All right. I probably need my ink again. So, okay. So I have that. All right. What do we have that would go? You know what I have is... I have some book pages that I tore out of some books. Oh, but they're not very, they're not very, um, what would you say, aged. I don't like them. <laughs> I have my other, this is my collage bag too, and it's getting fuller and fuller. So let's use, let's try and use some of that too. I'll set it over here. This is kind of a nice piece, isn't it? Yeah, let's do that. I'm just gonna pull off this edge here. It's a little bit long. Okay. Need some labels. Oh my goodness, I just dropped everything. Oh, okay. I have them on a low shelf beside A low shelf beside my chair and it's hard to get to sometimes okay here we go here we go you know I'm getting serious when the sleeves go up <laughs> oh gosh I'm gonna have to put bumbling crafter in yet another title <laughs> oh my goodness a bumbling tutorial is what this is oh goodness okay so that's cute. It's just kind of just some space to write. So that's good. Okay. So now what do we want to do? What do we want to do on this area? And then I'll kind of try and make the, make this work with it. I've got some things over here at the top. Hmm. I also have, I have this, this fabric that, um, my friend Jamie sent me and I think it's going to be kind of fun for layering. So I'm kind of thinking I might want a little piece of that. See, and it doesn't tear, but it doesn't tear, but I'm thinking if I do try to tear it, Oh, wow, it just doesn't. No, it does not tear. Okay. Well, I was thinking it would make it kind of grungy and fun on the edges, but wow. I I honestly don't know what this fabric is. It's, I Jamie thought it had a little, um, maybe had a little plastic to it. I don't know. She might be right. But But the strings do come off of it very nicely. So that's good. Jamie said, what are we going to do with it? I said, I don't know, but I think it'll be good for layering. So let's give it a whirl. This side is a little, being a little difficult. Now I'm just pulling, but the other thing you can do is take a pin and get it, kind of try and get it started. Okay, so it's pulling better. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. 
that might have been the salvage edge too okay I'm just babbling don't mind me okay so I'm gonna put that on the back really not sure what else I'm gonna do. <laughs> let's just let's just put that on because we decided we were gonna do that okay okay um now what now what I'm trying to think what if I have little pictures or something. Let's re let's refer to the um ooh. Let's refer to our little ephemera folders. This one I it was a goal to um fix this one up at my retreat and I didn't get it done. That's kind of fun, isn't it? It still needs something behind it. But I sort of like that. But then again, I'm into mushrooms. Yeah, I like this one better. Lately, lately I've been into mushrooms. Let's see what else. You know, um, I don't want those I want these also these little medical uh, labels from Austin Arnold could be fun yeah that one that one fits really nicely hmm I like how some of them are sideways. I think I like the mushroom the best so far, but you know, these are, these are, I think I'm going to keep out the sideways ones because I might want to use those on one of the other pockets. I realize I am really kind of fumbling around here trying to figure out what we want to do, but Ooh, what about, let's grab out some of these and see what we think. I really do need to fix this. All the pockets are falling apart. It's just, I just didn't do a good job making that. Okay. Um, ooh, that's nice, isn't it? Wow, I kind of like that. All right, so let's... Guys, I'm making a huge mess, and my grandkids are coming in a little while and with their friends, and I know they're going to want to. This one is a label. I wonder if I have these non-labels. I would rather use glue on the, I don't know if I do have that size. Oh. Yes, I do, but I don't know that I have that one. I don't. Darn. Okay, well, that's all right. We'll use that one. Anyway, I'm making a huge mess, and I know my granddaughters and their friends are going to be wanting to be in here, so I'm just going to have to clean it up. But I'm having fun. I could do this all day. <laughs> I have a few things to do, like get their beds ready and stuff. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if this will stick with just the the label. Should we try it? Let's try it. See what happens. How sticky is the sticky label? Will it stick to fabric? Yeah, looks like it's going to stick. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. Okay. Well, that was fun. Um, now, what do we want to do on here? I kind of feel like we might want another doily somewhere just to tie in a little bit. I 
too much. Too matchy matchy. I don't know. I don't know. So, but we could put we could put an image on there, couldn't we? Let's let's grab Mrs. Cogs. Not literally, not literally. We're not literally going to grab Mrs. Cogs, but I have two things full of images from Mrs. Cogs, and I should should work on using some of these. Um, ooh, love owls. That's kind of fun with that owl looking up, isn't it? Ooh, I kind of like that. Okay. Mrs. Cogs to the rescue. Let's. I think we're going to want something. Something else. Do what do we want? Like just like maybe a little My husband's up there cooking something. Something for the grandkids. I can hear him with the beater. I just want like a little fabric or something. What? I want it right there. Um, ooh, what's this? This came on something. Ooh, a little, that brown netting is nice, isn't it? Okay. What if we put that brown netting and then put like a little piece of music or something? What do I have in my itty bitty scraps pile that would be good? Um, cheesy peasy. No music to be seen. Well, we can fix that. You need to be out of my way. Okay. Just want a little bit. Just really a little, little bit. Like that. Even less than that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, we're going to start. We're going to start gluing then. good. Then let's see if we can get the get that netting to stick down. I'm going to stick. It might stick. We shall see. If it doesn't, I can always hit it with a little glitter glue. let that sit for a minute while we do the card and see if we but that's cute I like that it's just simple but I think it'll be nice in there okay and this card 
I'm really kind of thinking what I want is maybe just some lace at the top of it. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So what if we just put a little bit of this across the top of it? Okay, I can't get my sewing machine over here, guys, because I have such a table full of stuff. But this will just take me a second. I'll just pop this on there. Try and put the correct side up. I think it's that side. Maybe I'll... Just like that. We've got dark thread in, and that looks nice. Okay, so we can put that one there. That's what I kind of mean about filling up that space with, with stuff. Okay. Okay, so there's that one all decorated up. Just a little library pocket. And, oh, I should show, since I did kind of intend this somewhat for beginners, where is my, I had a piece of paper that I was using as a signature. Where'd it go? I must have used it on something. Okay, so let's pretend this is a page in your journal. So you could put it down in the corner as a tuck. Just glue this side and this side of the pocket and it can be a tuck behind. You could, if you wanted to, you could just clip it to the top of the page too, if you wanted it to be free floating. You could go ahead and just glue it there and have it be a tuck sp space under here. So whatever you might want to do, the other thing that might be fun to do is to glue it on a page, glue here, here, and here, and then be able to tuck something under here, make it a side pocket. So there you go. I have a little work to do on, um, on the, the rest of the five. So um, maybe we'll do that. Um, as I said, my granddaughters are coming, so I don't know how many videos I'm going to be able to get done, but I have these five to decorate. So maybe we'll do that in, um, in another video. I hope this was helpful. I hope you have fun just playing with these, um, library pockets and doing different things with them. And just thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.